Greetings, traveler, and welcome back to the world of Sanctuary. I am Muzzafuzza, your host today for some more Diablo 3 Ponage. And today, we are going to be going through Cathedral Level 4 in the Diablo 3 Beta. I'm bringing you some gameplay from my wizard, and I know what you're thinking, I know what you're asking yourself in your head, and the answer is yes. And I gotta say, that is a sexy mustache you got going on there, and those glasses really bring out the blue in your eyes. You are beautiful, sir. But you guys, this is Muzzafuzza, like I said, bringing you some more Diablo 3. Uh, getting a 20 kill massacre there, playing with a wizard, a barbarian, and what is that, a monk? He's using like dual wield swords, which is kind of weird for a monk to use. But, uh, you know, different strokes for different folks, right? Isn't that a weird word, folks? I never use that word. Like, I think I'm too young to use that word. I'm only 20 years old. I can't go around saying folks. Like, hello there, folks. How are you folks doing today? You want to listen to some folk music while I talk about Diablo 3 folklore? No, I didn't fucking think so. How about I talk about playing on a wizard and blowing things up with black hole galaxy throwing machines of death called Arcane Orb. Probably the coolest skill you can use as a wizard on Diablo 3 beta right now, but when the full game comes out, the wizard skills are some that I'm really looking forward to. I'm definitely going to have a wizard at least as an alternate character. Right now, my main characters, my primary characters that I'm going to be playing Diablo 3 on uh, when it comes out are going to be a witch doctor and a barbarian. Those are my two favorites, but wizard comes in at a close third. And I'm going to tell you guys why. As a wizard, you get uh, a bunch of different magic spells, different shrink ray, well maybe not shrink ray, I'm trying to think of like cool wizard spells that they could put in that they don't have. But you do get rays of frost and disintegration rays. You get uh, to summon a hydra. You can become an archon, which is like a godlike archmage type deal. Uh, you can summon a hydra, like I said, which is like a mythological beast, a three-headed dragon that can do your bidding and shoot fireballs out of its mouths. Plural, mouths. It is three-headed. It's not just one little bitch. It's going to do some damage. And uh, you can also summon a familiar, which is kind of like Skyrim. And what other, what other, what other? Oh, oh, slow time. That's probably one of the coolest spells that you can get as a wizard. You get a slow time spell. I'm not sure what level you get it at. Um, you can't use it in the beta right now. But I'm really excited because I love time travel related shit. I don't know about you guys, but time travel is one of the many themes that I, I, I like to check out in my life, like zombies, or time travel, or magic, or space, or whatever's interesting to you. Uh, that's what's just a few examples of what's interesting to me. But uh, it's like freaking four in the morning right now. thought I would do some Diablo 3 commentary and just let you guys know uh, what I think about the wizard class and just throw together a fun little topical commentary about it and that is what I did and I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below. I, I've been reading lots of the comments on my Diablo 3 videos because I really want to get engaged with my Diablo audience because I'm going to be playing it in live stream and making videos on this game a lot. So let me know in the comments below. Are you going to play a wizard? Is there any uh, people who are going to roll hardcore wizards out there? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys like this video, click like, favorite, Comment, subscribe, you guys know the buttons on YouTube. I would appreciate it. I love you guys. I hope you guys are excited about Diablo 3, and I hope you're having a good day. I will see you guys later.